I'm sure you do or did this mistake while practicing handstand. Why am I so sure? I suggest you to look around how many people practice like that. But what are we talking about? Let's see. What's up guys, it's Adam from GymnasticsMethod.com and today I'm going to show you a very common mistake that people do while practicing the handstand. Most of them stop practicing because of it or getting injured. If you don't want to miss the new videos about bodyweight training and lifestyle, please subscribe and click on the bell. Thank you. And if you want to get access to all the Gymnastics Method programs, tutorials, nutrition, daily workouts and much more, click the link below and join the Gymnastics Method community today. So, mistake in your handstand practice. This topic is very interesting because there are several mistakes that you can do while practicing the handstand. It all matters how you catch the ground, your elbows, shoulders, scapula position, core, hip position, pointed feet, etc. These are all technical key points which are worth to learn before you start practicing. I know that a lot of people don't even know what I'm talking about, this is another topic. But there is one mistake that almost everyone does without exemption, whether they know all the technical key points or not. And this is the handstand hold against the wall. A lot of people think that this is a very basic progression they need to practice. We just need to kick up, touch the wall with our feet and hold the handstand, then remove the feet and try to hold the balance. Yes, this is where everyone fails. This is the point where 99.9% .9 of the people give up in a matter of time or they think maybe I'm too old for this or I'm not talented enough to learn the handstand etc. However, it's not about that but the lack of information and wrongly chosen exercise. It might seem good but unfortunately not useful. Personally, I never recommend this exercise except for one thing but it's not for holding the handstand against the wall but I talk about that later. Why this exercise isn't useful? The most compelling reason is because normally we are striving for posterior pelvic tilt during the handstand and basically with this exercise it's impossible to do so. Since in a proper handstand most of our body weight is significantly below the forearms, it will be concentrated in the lower palm of our hands and our center of mass must be placed above it to maintain balance which we can support with the posterior pelvic tilt. If we lean forward with our feet or heels beyond this line, we'll put our pelvis in anterior tilt, which breaks the whole line and balance. This can be clearly seen in the execution. Even if we are striving for the posterior pelvic tilt, we'll feel unnatural and nearly impossible to implement. Since the length of our hands will always be between the wall and the point where most of our body weight is, even if we go closest to the wall, we're not able to do the proper body position. Not to mention if you're far from the wall and kick up, besides your hip position will be more and more improper, you can overload your wrists even if you did preparation exercises. Besides the lack of success, wrist pain is the other reason why people stop their practice or give up. What's the solution? Practice the handstand facing the wall. This position allows for the right pelvis and body position, whether you do it in 45 degrees or completely at the wall. I always tell my students to imagine this as a long plank position. What should we do in the plank position? Maintain posterior pelvic tilt. And if we tilt the pelvis back, our handstand position will be pretty straight and not a giant banana. The wall is also an excellent spotter because on the one hand, you can walk completely until your center of gravity is in the right place and you can feel when your posture is good. If only your feet touch the wall and you stand on your hands, you can feel that you're holding your trunk and pelvis properly. When do I recommend to practice handstand against the wall? Only when you learn how to kick up. And the goal there is to place your hands as close to the wall as possible, kick up and don't touch the wall at all. Of course, that's impossible in the beginning, but you need to strive for that and you'll be better little by little. And before this, you need to pay attention to all the technical key points and prerequisites that I mentioned earlier. Just to be clear, I didn't say you can't learn the handstand practicing against the wall. I'm sure a lot of people did but there is a smarter and much faster way to improve the proper handstand. I hope you found this tip helpful and if you're interested in a complete step-by-step -step handstand tutorial and if you want to get access to all the gymnastics method tutorials, workout programs, daily workouts, nutrition guide and much more, click the link below and join the gymnastics method community right now.
Thank you for watching. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up, share with your friends who are struggling with learning the handstand and write a comment. What do you want to see in the next videos? Subscribe and click on the bell if you haven't already and see you next time.